when you're building a system as complex as SLS, there are a lot of things you have to think about. The problem that we plan to address is called geysering. One of the first things that we have to get our arms around is how we load the vehicle with cryogenic propellants and how we safely load the vehicle. Geysering happens whenever heat is entered into uh, the system and a large bubble forms and it displaces liquid and allows that liquid to come crashing back down and cause a hammering effect on the system. And this hammering effect can damage the tank or the feed lines or other components. So we put together a full scale test bed here at Marshall that simulates the LO2 feed system for core stage. We're utilizing the test stand 4670 at Marshall. Uh, we set uh, a tank that Boeing procured, which is representative of the SLS height, and we've got full-scale feed lines where we've matched geometry to the SLS flight LOX feed system. We plan to mitigate the risk of geysering with circulation induced by helium injection. Um, we've got two feed lines which feed four engines. The two feed lines are connected by a four-inch crossover. Um, we've got two helium injection ports. Helium injection will induce circulation up one feed line. Cold, fresh locks from the locks tank will flow down the other feed line and across the crossover into the other feed line. And the circulation will prevent a stagnant system and therefore prevent geysers. Anti-geyser is one of many development tests that we have in series that help us to ensure a successful maiden flight for SLS that we're very much looking forward to.